Hi, I'm Ms. Fullerton. Welcome to Holiday Elementary School. This is Ms. Hall's fifth grade class and we're finishing up our collages. So today guys we're going to review landscape first. So raise your hand if you can tell me what a landscape is. You remember that from our last project, Kohab? What? Okay, so places, pictures of places that are outside, they show the land. So this is an example. Raise your hand if you can show me some more examples from our wall up here. Yes. This one? Yep, that's a landscape. It's got some trees, it's got the river, some mountains. Caroline? Starry night is an example of a landscape. Let's have one more, one more, somebody different. Wade? The bridge, this is a landscape. It's a picture of outside, it's got a river, it's got mountains, good. So today, we're actually going to be doing a seascape. So anybody want to take a guess what that might mean? It's kind of like a landscape, but it's called a seascape. You know what it means? Yeah. Uh, it's like a picture of like, the sea, like maybe something like that. Like, like the ocean, like the, um, right, you just said it. It's got water in it. So it's a landscape that's got a body of water in it. So ours, our picture is of a lighthouse. So it's going to have a lighthouse with the ocean. So it's going to be called a seascape. So let's talk a little bit about where these lighthouses come from. So anybody can raise your hand and tell me what part of the United States is this right here? My hand's going over top of it. What part of the United States is that, Jackson? The East Coast. The East Coast. And what, what ocean do we have right here? John? Atlantic Ocean. Does somebody want to come up and point out North Carolina to me? Somebody want to point out North Carolina? Mate? It's right here. Right there. And what state is it under? It's under. Um Virginia. It's under Virginia. Good. So on the edge, thank you, Mate. On the edge of North Carolina is the Outer Banks. It's right here. It's really skinny. It's kind of hard to see on this map because it's this really skinny piece of land that goes out into the ocean. So along there, there's some lighthouses. Raise your hand if you can tell me what was the purpose, what is the purpose of a lighthouse, and why would that piece of land have lighthouses on it? Somebody else. Um, Xander? To warn ships. To warn ships for what? Right, so, uh, and what is a lighthouse? Anybody want to, like, describe a lighthouse? What does it look like, Wade? It's a big, tall tower with a rotating spotlight at the very top of it. Whoa, that was awesome. Yes, so basically it's a tower with a light at the top, and it warns ships or other sailing vessels that there's land so they don't crash into it. These were really used a long time ago when we didn't have GPS and things like that, uh, so that, so that ships knew where the land was. So it would have a light that spins around at top at the top. So when you were making the lighthouses that you've already started, you were looking at these three lighthouses from the Outer Banks. So we have pictures here and drawings here. So you were using these as your inspiration. So we have the, the Body Island, the Hatteras, and the Currituck lighthouses. So let's just take a minute because we had so much time working on those last time, we didn't really get to look at them. So if you use the Body Island as your inspiration, hold your lighthouse up so we can kind of look at it. Just hold it up and kind of like hold it around the room. Everybody look at, at so wait a minute, you guys have the, you have the Hatteras. The Body Island is the one with the straight stripes. So just a few people did that one. Straight, yep. Jackson has, Jackson hold, hold yours up. Jackson added some nice windows to his. He's got a little thing at the top, very nice. All right, so put those down. If you use the Hatteras Lighthouse as your inspiration for your lighthouse collage, hold yours up. Yep, that's the one with the diagonal stripes. Good, those look awesome. So, oh, uh, Blake, hold yours up. Everybody look how Blake added the little light at the top of his. That's really nice little detail. Good. All right. So put yours down. And then if you use the Currituck Lighthouse as your inspiration, hold that up. Very nice. Look at Wade's back there. He's added like a little building at the bottom. He's got some nice windows. Um, Mate has nice little details up here at the top. So if you didn't have a chance to finish some of those details on your lighthouse, you can do that today when you're working. But we're going to be finishing the rest of our lighthouse by adding some water and some grass and maybe some light, little beams of light if you want to add that to yours. First of all, I've been saying this word collage. Somebody tell me what that means. Raise your hand if you remember. Yes. Great, so adding different pieces of paper, gluing them down, 
you're making a collage just by putting different pieces of paper together. So we're kind of using a recycled mat for our background. So here's Nate's. You, you made this last time. Everybody has their recycled mat for their background. We're just kind of using that as texture. It's not necessarily to look at the map. It's just kind of for the background. You have to decide if you want your map to go this way or this way. You're not really trying to read the words. It's okay if they're facing a different direction. So some of you last time said you didn't really like this part of your picture. If you don't like that part on your picture, then make it at the bottom. It'll get covered by the grass, okay? So decide which way you want yours to go. You're also going to be then picking some papers from the basket. So we have these papers made by painting paper, putting, uh, putting designs or lines on your paper. So those are all ready to go for you. You're gonna choose two, uh, maybe one if you just want one, but two water papers and two grass papers from the basket when it's time to start. When you choose your papers, you're gonna make some type of edge on them, okay? So I've made an example right here that I did a tearing edge like we did on our landscapes, on our last landscape. So that maybe would look like the sea foam at the top or the waves at the top of the ocean. That's one uh, choice you can have. You can also cut it so it looks like waves. This one I've just kind of cut wavy. So it's up to you how you finish the top of yours. But I wouldn't keep it straight. I would do something. So you can cut or tear the tops of it. And then you're going to put those together like this to make your water. Then you're going to pick two pieces of green. And you can kind of see I'm choosing different shades of green here. This is lighter, darker. Also with the water, this is probably a good idea, but it's up to you what you choose, to choose a darker piece and a lighter piece so they're not exactly the same. For the grass, I just cut some wavy edges, but you decide what you want the top of your grass to look like. You're gonna be taking all of these and gluing them to your paper. So remember when you're using glue, you're just putting a little edge around the edges. You don't need to cover the entire thing with glue, just a little border. And you're gonna be gluing that onto your map. So we talked last time when we were making our lighthouses about having the papers hang off the edge. See how this paper is a little bit longer than the paper? Okay, so what's our trick to making that fit perfectly? Um, v &A. Right, so this is what we did when we made our lighthouses. We glued our strips longer first, and then we could turn it to the back side and cut it the right size. So you're going to do that same trick with your water and with your grass. You're going to leave it long first, and you're going to glue it on your paper, and then when you're done gluing all your pieces, you turn it to the back side and you cut it the right size. So you would glue your water here, and then you're going to be overlapping your next piece of, of water. Raise your hand and tell me what overlap means. Somebody know what overlap means? Yes. It goes on top a little bit, so it's going to go over top. You don't want to have one piece of water here and the other here, because that would look kind of weird. So you want to have them overlap a little bit. So overlap like this, then you're going to overlap your pieces of grass. And it's going to go like this and like this. If it goes longer than your map, that's okay. It can just be like this, a little bit longer than your map, okay? Then you would take your lighthouse and you would put that on top. Your lighthouse is going to go somewhere on the grass, not into the water. There, there are some lighthouses that are in the water, but if you can see these three lighthouses that we're using for our inspiration are on grass. So you would put them somewhere in the grass. You decide where you want your lighthouse to be. Is it in the middle, to the side, this side, wherever you want it to be. The last little detail you can add with the yellow pieces of paper you have is just cutting little teeny strips to look like light. So that's what I did here. So little strips like this, they can be whatever length you want. You maybe have some short, some long, and you're gluing them. They can come out of both sides, just one side. That part's up to you. Anybody have questions about what you're working on? Questions about how to finish this? All right, so if you need, I put a couple pencils out. If you need more, you can raise your hand. Any other things, you just raise your hand. So you're choosing how many pieces of paper for water? Two. Two, how many pieces for grass? Two. two. If you really only want to have one water or one grass, that's okay too. You're kind of making it how you want it to be. If you need to finish parts of your lighthouse and you need more red, white, or black paper, just raise your hand and I'll bring you that as well. So remember the tops of your water, you're deciding how you want that to look. Is it going to be wavy by cutting waves? Is it going to be wavy by tearing the edges? Is it going to be just kind of a flat water with just little <laughs> teeny waves? So you're deciding what kind of sea you're going to have in your seascape.
All right, guys, I just wanted to show you Ella's water because I really like how she did the torn edges, but she also made the waves like dip down right here and then she made it come up right here. So she's really trying to think about the waves of the ocean when she tore that. I just like how hers turned out. So I just wanted to show you guys that for a second. Good job, Ella. Water. Are you going to do one or two pieces of grass? I'm going to do two, but I want to make this shorter in that. Right. Yeah, yeah. You'll make that shorter, shorter. Just pretend like you have that ready to go. You have to glue this first, then this, then this, and this to overlap. If you had this first, then you wouldn't be able to put that underneath. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So leave this here to dry, or not to stick to anything. And then get these edges the way you want, and then glue the water first. So get that all straight how you want it, and then you'll start by gluing that first. <coughs> oh, Caroline tore her grass. I like that too. Guys, Caroline tore her grass, which also looks nice. So if you want to look up here, she kind of, she did that, what I showed you for the water, she did it for grass, and it works for that too. That's nice. And VNA did some really nice waves. Look at her waves here. Oh, wow. Fancy. Glue this first, this, then grass, and then another grass to fit them over top of each other. So cut the edges or tear whatever you want to do and then put it there. All right, so you're going to keep this set aside while you glue down your water. So you want to glue this down first, okay? And then put your grass. Yes, and then you decide where you want your lighthouse to go. Erica is already gluing her lighthouse. You can add those little pieces of light coming out. But then if you have time left in the class, you can still add more details, like how Jackson put the windows in his lighthouse. So you could add those kind of details to your lighthouse if you have extra time. Use this to make your things. And then if you wanted to add details, like little, like a doorway into that red spot, because that's how you like go into the lighthouse. So you could add like a doorway there or windows to your, to your, um, to the tower of your lighthouse, but you could go ahead and do the light first if you want to do that to get it done. I think this is working now. Try it. I'm looking right here at Caroline and Kohab's scraps of paper, and they actually look really cool. So these are the scraps of paper that they had left over. So you could always use those scraps of paper also as like skinnier strips. If you wanted to add another layer of grass or water, you could use little strips that you tore off, you know, because it still has the torn edge, it still has the cut edge, so you could also use those little scraps. So look around on your table, and if you like some of those pieces, then add it to your collage. Yeah, if, oh yeah, if you want to switch that yellow to black, that would be nice. And I like how you did the yellow there, because that's like the light bulb. Yeah, yeah right, mm -hmm. and then you put that one on top. And if you end up with a lot of time, this it could be kind of tricky, but you could use some little pieces of black and like you could cut little birds and like just little silhouettes of birds, you know what I mean? And put those, you, you don't have to glue them down, but um, maybe try to cut it and see how it looks. And then if you like it, you can glue it down. You just glue it down. Thanks for joining us today and learning about our seascape collages. Go! Go.